Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. What's up folks? Good morning. I've got a surprise for you. I've been talking about it for a while. We're gonna be fishing with the 8616. <laughs> I'm stoked about getting this guy on the boat. This will be the absolute first time I've ever fished with this guy. We're gonna give it a try out. I don't know if I'll keep it on the boat permanently for right now. It is obviously something I wanted to get for the new boat, but I said, you know what? The hookups are the same as the 8612, so I don't have to change anything power-wise. I just plug the old big boy in and we're gonna give her a look. This will be the first look at the 8616 for three pound fishing. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. It's gonna be a great morning. It's a fall morning. It's cool. It's perfect. I love this. So if you do choose to get an 8616, one thing that it is interesting is it doesn't come with a gimbal. It does not come with a knob. So make sure you order the gimbal. Make sure you order the knob separately. Then you get your beautiful 8616. So, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it together right here. We're gonna see if this thing fires up. It really is just it's easy. It's three it's three uh, knobs. You got your power, and then your two networking cables right here. I have two because I'm sorry, really just one probably for most people. I have two live scopes on the boat, so I don't know which one is which. So I I plug them both in. So. Really easy. Now, a lot of people ask me about my mounts. I use the folding mount from Cornfield Crappie Gear. They're awesome, call Mark. I use the folding mount. It actually has a bridge on it, so that'll give it some stability. This boy is not light, so, but I have faith in Cornfield Crappie Gear and their products, and it'll support it no problem whatsoever. I am gonna adjust the height of it on the new boat. For today's purposes, well, we're just fishing, and voila. Now, I'll tell you, I got this at PTG. I paid for it. They're fantastic. I just believe in the Upchurch family and PTG. And by golly, if I'm gonna get electronics, I'm going to PTG. So you check them out for all your electronic needs. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. These guys right here, these are kind of just for the edge. Finish off the look. These guys just snap in like this. Well, we're just gonna fish. That thing's massive. What I like about it already, I can tell you that, is the fact that I can actually, I can use this mount with my trolling motor. I was really worried about the trolling motor hitting the side of it. It doesn't, it doesn't. Let's catch some fish today. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh, and there's our first fish with the 8616. That is a dandy, that's a good fish. Woo! I'll tell you what, folks, that's a hair jig from three pound fish and tackle. That is the Darbone. There it is, first fish on the 8616. Now, I can tell you right away, because of its height, it is kind of in my way. I don't feel comfortable. Like, um, it needs to be lowered probably about four inches to make it feel more comfortable. And that's the original plan. So, I'm going to take a trip to Cornfield Crocodile Gear again, check out their mounts. I think the position is awesome. It just needs to be lowered a little bit. So, if I want a vertical jig, I feel like I might hit the screen. So, but it's cool to see it. I mean, the picture is awesome. I mean, that's straight out of the box. I haven't touched anything. I got I got it on set on 70. I mean, that's the great thing about live scope, right? I mean, it's literally out of the box. You can you can fire it up and use it. So, Ooh. Man, what a great, I just love fishing in the fall. It doesn't get any better. And now with this 8612, let me give you a look at it, a real close up look at it again. I had one of those knobs that were kind of off and I want to make sure that people see exactly what I'm seeing here. Check that out, man. That is like, I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm not fishing a structure here that has a ton of fish on it, but I thought I would get the point across, but look how beautiful that is. That is a huge screen. They ain't cheap, I can tell you that. But check out PTG, man. They're gonna treat you good. They're gonna stand by their products, and that's why I buy my stuff from PTG. I think what will be interesting is gonna be whether or not it, pow it drains power quicker because of the, the size of the screen. Will that make a difference? But I mean, I have those lithium batteries. Gosh, I'm getting hammered. I got those lithium batteries from Amped Outdoors, so I still feel very comfortable, but you know, I'm just kind of curious as to what happens. No big, big ones yet, but some fish. Nope, just getting started. 
Thank you. Same to you. You got a good fish there. Man, that dar bone is hot. Look at that. That is a slab right there, folks. That is a slab. Beautiful. Black crappie. Wow. so let's talk monitors just real quick before we get to our next spot um, I recommend actually the 126 SV to everybody because I don't know if there's actually that much of a difference in pitchfork quality I don't think the 126 SV though comes in a 15 or 16 inch screen but I can tell you that the, the quality of the screen is pretty darn close and uh, I know it's a significantly price increase between the 8600 series and the 126 SP. So why didn't I get the 126 SP? A, I wanted a bigger screen, and two, as I want to be able to video my uh, catches using the Active Captain uh, app. So it's important for me as a YouTuber, and uh, I don't know if it's important for a lot of people. So if I wasn't, I think a 12 inch 126 SP is the absolute ticket. I, I rarely use maps, but I did go ahead and get the maps version of the 8616. I wanted to, uh, you know, when I do go to a lake that I don't know, I usually do uh, utilize the maps on the Garmin. So we used it a lot during Darbo. Oh my gosh. Catches a fish on the first cast. definitely a bigger fish I'm telling you sometimes you know when you pass up sorry when you pass up your your primary target you're looking for a secondary target to drop on and that's how we got this guy right here that's a solid fish so I don't think until I get my until I get my the correct mount for this I don't think I'll have it on my guide trips I'll have the 8612 just because I really I really do believe it's a little high and I'm a little skeptical myself on whether I'm going to hit it or not or I'm a little worried oh. you know one of the things that uh, people talk about a lot is uh, transducer placement I choose to put it on the trolling motor because it's free and I think you can be a little bit more active with it on your trolling motor you can really follow fish around big time um, but I think to each his own to be honest with you um, but I always say that this is free try it on your trolling motor if you don't then you can purchase a pole or make a pole that type of thing um, but a lot of top anglers have it on their trolling motor because you can maneuver quickly around and follow a fish and you're not having to worry about some separate item on your boat Th that's the thought process anyway uh, not to say that having it on a pole or separate mount isn't a great option I mean Elliot Tomlinson at Real Foot um, check out his guide service, Wicked Coots, um, at Real Foot. You know, he, he does great uh, with, with a, uh, a separate device. And I think it really fits well there at Real Foot. Oh my gosh, I didn't even have to, that thing didn't even have to hit the ground. So today I'm fishing with a, a combination of hair jigs, and uh, all, everything for three pound fishing. Folks, I'm gonna freeze it right there. We have a new jig that just came out. It is incredible. Offered in five different colors, two different sizes, 1 16th and 1 32nd. You check them out at threepoundfishing.com, which by the way, is redesigned completely. So check it out at threepoundfishing.com. You're gonna love these new jigs. I'm not joking when I say they are the best jigs on the market. Tackle, you can check it out. Um, this is the gumdrop. It's working great. Um, I used the zombie today, the darbone. Uh, the hair jigs are working fantastic today. <laughs> you love those those jig heads, those new jig heads that we just came out with are phenomenal. Check them out. I'm not, no joke. I'm using those for my swim bait. There we go. Folks, that's going to end it for me. 
8616. Check them out at PTG, Cornfield Crappie Gear, another great company that relates to dive scope. Um, I'll tell you right now, very impressed. Very impressed, very excited. Can't wait to get a new mount to back it off a little bit, but otherwise, well worth it. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.